Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily update a user profile property in SharePoint Online by using PowerShell. So here I am in the specific user profile uh, in my SharePoint Online tenant where I have in these details for this specific user in the SharePoint Online profiles uh, details page. Um, if I go down, I have uh, some custom properties I create by myself using the um, the possibilities I have in the SharePoint Online, uh, SharePoint Online User Profiles Administration in SharePoint Online. And uh, what I'm going to do is just to update this custom property, Division 1. That's actually is just a mandatory, mandatory uh, property that can be uh, visualized by anyone, and the user has the possibility uh, to uh, update this property. This is a custom property, as I said, that I create by using the administration option for the user profiles. And I can update this property by means of PowerShell. So here I have a script where I have a very simple function with different parameters, such as the client side object model path, because I'm going to use the client side object model to update that property. The SharePoint Online Admin Center URL, I need actually to connect to the SharePoint Online Admin Center URL to be able to update a specific property for a user profile. Otherwise, I'm going to have a permissions problem. Then I have the username and password for the user, a SharePoint Online Admin at least, that is going to do that date. The, pro the profile property to update, the profile property value, and then obviously the profile user profile to update. And as you can see here, the code for this function is actually very straightforward because the only thing I need to do is just to uh, load the assemblies for the client site object model for both the client site, uh, client site object model itself and the user profiles API. This is what I'm doing here. And then once the, uh, uh, the assemblies are loaded uh, for my script, I create a SEPOL online client contest uh, using this standard method. And then I create a people manager object that is going to allow me to query the specific user profile I want to update. This is actually what I do with the get properties for method for in this people in the people manager object. Uh, of course I need to follow the client side object model rules. So I need to load this object and then execute query and then do the execute query call method so I can have this object for doing further operations. Once I have this object, what I can do is uh, again for the people manager object, I can uh, call this specific method, the set single value profile property, that allows me actually to update a specific user profile in SharePoint Online, uh, updating a property, a profile property with a specific value. I have to execute uh, the, to send the operation to the backend uh, again by calling the execute, the execute method in the client contest. And that's all. So in this case, uh, I'm going to modify the parameters so you can see how I'm effectively modifying this property. So instead of operations, I'm going to put marketing. I'm going to save the script and I'm going to execute it. It's going to ask me for the credentials for the admin that is going to update the profile property. Um, uh, I'm done. Everything uh, went well. So I can go back to this uh, profile details page in the SharePoint Online Admin Center. And if I go down, I should be, I should see marketing in the division property. Here we are. So fine, everything works as expected. So as uh, I have shown you, uh, it's very easy to update a specific uh, profile property for the user profile, or you can update more properties and um, you can do for different pro uh, pro uh, user profiles in your SharePoint Online tenant. Uh, obviously, in this case, I'm updating a custom uh, user profile property because I previously created this custom uh, property uh, by using the this option, the Manage User Properties page. As you know, you have the ability to create um, custom user profile properties. That's uh, what I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, yeah, um, the video is over. I mean, uh, Everything worked as expected, and we were able to update this specific custom user profile property by using PowerShell. Um, yeah, uh, you can find uh, this PowerShell script. It just you want to use it in the uh, PowerShell script gallery in TechNet. Yeah, I'm going to start session here, so you can see where you can download the script. Yeah.
let's go to my contribution contributions over here uh, and then let's order sorry for the Spanish uh, for the version date and again here yeah here you are this is the last script I have in my mm, PowerShell script repository in TechNet uh, let's go back to yeah to Serpent Online and if you go down here you will see that uh, we have these custom properties, in particular the vision properties, and you have the new property option here that allows you to create custom properties for the user profiles in Serpent Online. And that's all. I hope you have found this video interesting, and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.